Good morning, everyone. My name is Jeffrey Vetter from Oak Ridge. Uh, we call it CLAC for uh, the OpenACC support in Clang and LLVM. A lot of the work's being done by uh, Joel Denny and Se Young Lee in my group. Uh, they have a lot of expertise in this area. In fact, Joel was upstreaming <clears throat> some, excuse me, some changes to, uh, to Clang and other things right now. Um, so what's the overview? What's the big problem? Well, I come from DOE Labs, and if you've heard any of Hal's talks, you know our systems are getting more complex. I like to show this chart from last year. Um, if you go back just to uh, you know a few years ago, we had one type of memory in the system, and then we had uh, a lot of heterogeneity, um, homogeneity in the system. Um, as we're moving forward, you see we're getting a lot more complicated. The new system being installed at Oak Ridge is two power nine CPUs and um, six NVIDIA Voltas. Um, and then we expect that to continue. So we really have to prepare our community so they can write their code once and not have to rewrite it for every new platform. Um, there are a lot, of, a lot of efforts out there. We use CUDA and OpenACC mainly on the Titan system right now. OpenMP and OpenACC seem to be the preferred choice for our application community. Um, there's a lot of discussion about why we have both OpenMP and OpenACC, but that'll take more than a five-minute talk. <laughs> Next slide. So uh, just if you haven't seen OpenACC, I just put this up here so you could find some more information on it. Um, it looks, looks like OpenMP, but it's really meant for heterogeneous offload. Uh, it has pragmas like we were hearing about earlier today that identify different types of loop optimizations and directives that you can use to offload to a GPU or even something like an FPGA. Um, so what's the status? Uh, if you look at the OpenACC compiler community out there now, there are, there are some commercial efforts, and, and oddly enough, the top supercomputer in the world in China uses OpenACC as its programming model, and it has, has a, uh, an interesting architecture that has 260 small cores alongside some large cores, but uh, you, can, you can see that if you go online. Uh, GNU obviously has support for this, and then there are several academic slash research compilers. We have one called OpenArc at Oak Ridge. Um, just to give you an idea of what the support's like, there's a set of tests out there for OpenACC right now that uh, can validate some of the functionality for 2.5, and we found that that you know, some of the support in PGI still needed some work, but in, in GNU and, and some of the others, it was missing the mark in, in quite a few ways. So why are we doing this? So we have experience with heterogeneous computing, and most of our experience has been with OpenArc, and basically it is a, a, um, a compiler that has its own front end. Uh, it doesn't share anything with Clang right now. Uh, we have an auto-tuner because we found auto-tuning was very important in a heterogeneous environment. Um, we generate our own IR that includes things like kernel launches and data transfers, and those can be optimized in the IR. Um, and then basically we generate the, the code, back-end code, both for the host and the kernel, and that gets offloaded. Right now uh, we can target uh, CUDA, AMD, Xeon Phi, and Altera FPGAs. Um, I just put this line in here. We're doing some work in non-volatile memory, but we're doing that through LLVM. We actually generate LLVM IR from the OpenArc IR so that you can do uh, non-volatile memory programming. Thank you. So closing in, what we want to do is take our experience there and create a production quality OpenACC compiler in Clang. Um, we want to be able to have tools and other things that you can use with it. Uh, the key is... How do we want to do this? We want to um, build on Clang's existing OpenMP compiler and runtime support. We think that's pivotal. We don't want to build the whole stack ourselves. Um, the big difference is OpenACC is descriptive and OpenMP is prescriptive. And, and that's a, you know, fancy terms, but, but basically the way we're trying to do this is take the OpenACC descriptive model and use tree transform to lower it to an OpenMP AST and then use code gen and the existing OpenMP runtime to just uh, uh, execute as you would in the LLVM infrastructure. Um, and we've already started discussions on some of the mailing lists. Uh, we have a early prototyping phase. Um, 
we've got interpretation of some of the open ACC constructs and are moving to try to start this discussion. So I'm, I'm getting the hook here, so let me finish by saying we're, uh, we're interested in working with other people. We have um, my email address right there. Please send me a note if you have interest in this. Thank you. Thank you very much.